Welcome to the 28th CSS tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to add a content page and we're going to use the existing CSS classes that we've created to style it. So we really shouldn't have to do a lot of work. And that's the beauty of CSS. Every new web page that we add to our site, we can use a lot of our existing CSS that we've already created. So let's go ahead and open up our website and we'll do that in Chrome again. And if we scroll down here, let's add a section down here that will be additional links to other articles that we're gonna create on Fish. So let's go ahead and do that. And we'll open this up so we can look at the HTML. And let's scroll down here. And of course we need to make sure we put this in the body element. And I've already typed this out, but what we're gonna do is add an H3, so we got another header. And uh, we're going to use the anchor tag, and we've talked about that in previous videos, of course. And here's our new web page. It's going to be shark, so we're going to refer to that shark.html. Now, I will uh, put this code out on the message board so you don't have to type it all out. In fact, I'll put the code for our index.html, our shark.html, and our CSS style sheet. So this link will open up our new shark.html, and uh, this will be the text that people will see on the page. It'll say the largest shark ever. So let's save this. Now what we're going to do is we're going to actually um, create uh, some CSS rules for our header 3 element. And so let's go ahead and do that. Let's open up the style sheet and we'll just copy and paste what we have from our H1. Now we don't want the font size increased on this so let's just get rid of that. And we don't want to center this. Let's actually have this header element situated on the left. And if we take out this center by default it will be moved to the left. So let's go ahead and save this. And actually we have to put H3 here. And now we'll save this and let's open up our index.html. And if we go down here you can see now that we've got our link the largest shark ever. And again, we wanted this all on the left, so we're not centering any of these elements. And uh, we'll click on this on a second. Now let's go to the, the shark.html content page that we have, and let's open that up in Notepad. And here you can see we're going to be reusing the same style sheet that we've been using. So that's perfect. We don't have to create a new style sheet. And that's really the beauty of a style sheet. All of your future web pages can reuse the same style sheet. Now you don't have to necessarily do that. You can create separate style sheets and some people do that. You could create a style sheet for each page, but that kind of defeats the purpose in my opinion. So we're going to reuse our div main class and we're going to reuse our paragraph, our generic paragraph that we've been using. And so let's go ahead and exit out of everything. Let's open up our index.html and now let's click on this link. And there you can see we've got our content page. And the beauty about this, take a look. Everything's styled like our home page. And that's good because it's keeping the same look and feel. So we didn't have to do a lot of work. And again, that is the beauty of CSS. We are reusing our CSS paragraph class. You will also notice that our body in our content page is also being formatted in the same way. We have the same color, the same margins, everything that we put in our body. So that again is the beauty of CSS. Okay, let's close this out and let's open up our index.html. Now in the next video, we are going to deal with special effects for the first time. And we're actually going to create some effects when we hover over this link. And you guys have probably seen that when you've been browsing around other websites. So that's what we'll be doing in the next video. And actually, before we go, I just thought of something else. Uh, let's close this out and let's go back into our HTML for our shark content page. And we don't want to use an ID. We actually want to use a class here because this is going to be a generic class that we'll use a div class for the rest of our content pages. So remember, ID is for a specific class that you want to use for a specific page. So let's just put in class here instead. And we'll call this div uh, content. And then let's go ahead and save this. And let's go back to our style sheet. And here you can see the pound signs. And again, that identifies IDs, but we don't want to do that. We want a class. So we're just going to create a new div class below this. And we'll put the period sign, of course, which identifies it as a class. And we'll call this content. And let's save this. And if we go into our shark.html, and so everything looks great. Oh, you know what? We need a period there. Let's just be clean here and we'll just fix that real quick. 
Okay, that will do it for this video. I will see you guys in the next video.